So what exactly is this chip and why did I destroy it? Well, it's a CIC lockout chip and it's part of an old school DRM system on the original Nintendo. To prevent third parties from creating unlicensed games, Nintendo added one of these chips to every NES game and console. The two chips talk to one another using a bunch of binary data. But if the lock chip on the NES doesn't get the numbers it's expecting from the key chip on the game, then it endlessly resets the system. Nintendo would only give the chip to publishers who bought a license, meaning you couldn't make games unless you followed all of Nintendo's rules or bypassed the CIC. Over the years, various companies and enthusiasts figured out how to do this, with one easy hack being to snip the fourth pin on the console's chip. This tricks the CIC's program into thinking that chip is a key instead of a lock, bypassing the reset code entirely. And this brings us to how this particular CIC bit the dust. The first time I tried the hack, I accidentally cut the wrong pin, so I tore the whole thing out and replaced it with a socket that had its fourth pin removed instead. 